Hello students, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel, Study Restfully. Comprehension A. State whether these sentences are true or false. 1. Rama liked serving women. Answer false. Number 2. Rama lived in a lane behind the market. Answer true. Number 3. Soda bottles were used as missiles during the riot. Answer true. Number 4. Rama came in time to catch the cinema crowd coming out after the night show. Answer false. P. Answer these questions in one or two words. Number 1. What did Rama give free with every item? Answer. Rama gave free chutney with each item. Number 2. Whose arm searched for the perfect duck's egg? Answer. The wrestler's arm searched for the perfect duck's egg. Number 3. Where did Rama sleep? Answer. Rama used to sleep on the pile of his house. Number 4. How much did four chapatis cost? Answer. The four chapatis cost an anna. Number 5. Where did Rama work as a waiter? Answer. Rama worked as a waiter in a restaurant named Kahinur. C. Answer these questions in a sentence or two. Number 1. At what time did Rama wake up every day? Answer. Rama would wake up only when the cock crowing next door. Sometimes he would wake up early because of the cock crowing at 3 o'clock. Number 2. What did Rama sell? Answer. Rama used to sell a lot of food items. There were bondas, dosais, chapatis, duck eggs and coffee. Apart from this, chutney was available for free there. Number 3. Who were Rama's customers? Answer. Rama's customers included jutka drivers, boot polish boys, wrestlers, beggars, women selling grass and many others who, after earning hard work during the day, would come running to Rama in the evening. Number 4. Why did the riot break out? Answer. The riot broke out because someone was stabbed near the sales tax office when he was distributing notices about some votes or something. The riot took place at the same corner where Rama used to set up his stall. D. Answer these questions briefly. 1. Why did Rama's customers like him? Answer. The price of selling Rama's goods was very reasonable. No other shopkeeper was selling the goods at that price. Apart from this, customers also got the opportunity to pick up and taste the goods before purchasing. Number 2. Briefly describe Rama's attitude towards the boot polish boys. Answer. Rama felt very sorry for the boot polish boys whenever a customer bargained with them while making payment after getting his work done. After all, it doesn't make much difference to those rich people if they pay a little more money. At least, they would be able to feed themselves with that money. To some extent, Rama used to be liberal towards them while serving coffee. Number 3. Why did Rama have to move his stall 200 yards away? Answer. The place where the leader was murdered on the day of the riot was considered a holy place. A couple of young men wearing badges were to erect a monument at the place where Rama used to set up his stall. They said that that corner was handed over to them by the municipality. Immediately, that place turned into Martyr's Corner. For this reason, Rama had to shift the stall to a distance of nearly 200 yards from the original place. Number 4. What did Rama's wife do upon his arrival at night? Answer. 
As soon as Rama reaches home, his caring wife opens the door and takes the load of his stall from his hand. Not only this, whatever Rama earned by selling food items, his wife would immediately count it. They would become happy after seeing the earnings. She would keep the money back in the cloth bag for further investment. At the same time, she kept the profits separately in a little wooden box which she had brought from her parents' house many years ago. He answered these questions in detail. Number one, describe in detail how Rama's business was finished. Answer, everything was going well when Rama was selling food items. The place to set up the stall was attracting everyone. As soon as evening came, a crowd of people used to gather there. But suddenly one day riot breaks out at that corner where a leader is murdered. His associates, with the help of the municipality, laid says to that particular place. Rama was forced to leave that place and set up his stall at a distance of 200 yards. The way earlier, the place used to force every person to come to its stall. There was nothing like that now. Rama could not maintain the quality of his food items as before. When he loses confidence in himself, one night he finally announces to his wife that his business is over. Number two and the last question. Do you think that Narayan has depicted many aspects of typical Indian way of life? Write a persuasive answer. Answer, yes, of course. Narayan has depicted the typical Indian way of life in his story matters corner and in which he has been successful. Through this story, he has tried his best to depict Indian cultures, traditions, values and social dynamics. The storyteller has made the story attractive by making it relevant to everyone's life, Narayan selects common characters for his writings. They reflect the lives of the common people. He has been successful in portraying the struggle-filled lives of the people. His story highlights the complexities of Indian society, its caste system, customs, and traditions. In his story, family relationships, social norms, religion, and social and economic challenges influence each other. While his stories are interesting, his writing style includes humor, wit, and satire. He has incorporated cultural and colloquial language into his stories, adding authenticity to his depiction of Indian life. Narayan's stories provide valuable insights into diverse aspects of Indian culture. His stories offer a glimpse of the complexities of everyday life in India. The style of illustration he paints is inspirational and wide-ranging, making his work popular among readers both within and outside India. This is where the video ends. Please subscribe the channel for new videos. Thank you.